Hey there, welcome back. Guys, if you're looking for streamlining and simplify the process of collecting data from your form responses into your spreadsheet in Google Sheets, then you're at the right place. Here I'm going to show you how you can integrate a form builder which is called Cognitor Forms with your Google spreadsheet in such a way that whenever a form is submitted, the data will be captured and will be sent to Google Sheets automatically. So you do not have to manually take the data from the form responses and add the data one by one inside the rows of Google Sheets. So it will save your time and improve your productivity. And guys, we are going to set up this automation without any coding. So let's get started. To set up the workflow, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the website of Pavli Connect. And to reach here, you can use the link I have pasted in the description. From here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So guys, sign up right now from the given link and after that you can sign in to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From this dashboard guys, you can click on this create workflow button. Here you can provide a suitable name to your workflow. So let me provide a name here. So I have given this name here. Okay, now you can click on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up. And on this page, guys, you will find the basic building blocks of our automation, which is the trigger and the actions. So guys, our automation is based on these two principles. Trigger is going to start the workflow and the actions are the responses of the trigger. In our use case, guys, getting a form submission via Cognitor form is going to trigger this workflow. And the action would be to add, uh, add the data we have captured via form submission into Google Sheets row, okay? So when you click here on this trigger window, it will ask you to choose the trigger application. So here you have to choose Cognitor Forms. Okay. And then select the trigger event here as new entry. Okay. And it will provide you this webhook URL. So guys on this URL, you can receive the data from Cognitor Forms to here in the response section of trigger of our workflow. Okay. So here to add this URL inside Cognitor Forms, you need to follow the instructions. Just check the settings of form and add this URL. So let me show you. This is my Cognitor Forms application and this is my form that I have created named as subscribers form. And under the form settings, you will find this option post JSON data to a website. You have to open it. Here you will find this field submit entry endpoint. So here you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow where you can send the data from this form response. So just copy the webhook URL and add this URL here in this endpoint field like this. Okay. And then scroll down and find the save icon. Here is save. Just click on save. Okay. So now we have added the URL. Now you can click on this publish option and publish this form for collecting the data. So this is the link. So I'm going to open this form here in a new tab. And here you can see as we have copied the URL to add it here, it started showing waiting for the response of this connection that you have created using this URL. So this means now we can perform a test submission. Test submission means now I am going to fill the form with some random data and submit the form. So as I'm going to submit this form, the data will be captured here in the response section. So let us just see here. It is asking for the first name. So here I'm going to put the first name as first only and the last name, let's say Khan. And here, let me just fill in the email address as this. And here I'm going to put any random phone number. And here I'm going to click on submit and as you will see here you can see the form is submitted. Now let's check here in our workflow here. We are going to receive the response. So guys, we have received the response and here you can see we have received the first, uh, the full name, the first name, last name separately and the phone number. These are the details we have captured. Now I want to send this data in a spreadsheet that I have created here in Google Sheets. So here is my spreadsheet and here I want to save this data like this. Okay. So to send the data here, just click here on this action step and here we are going to connect with Google Sheets. Okay. And here I am going to select the action event as add new row. Then click on this connect option. 
from here select add new connection then click on sign in with google all right and from this window you have to select that google account by which you have created the spreadsheet then you have to provide some additional access to your uh, account just click on continue here and you will be connected with your spreadsheet in a moment all right so we are now connected and here started asking to select the spreadsheets name so when you click here it will show you the list of all your spreadsheets from here you have to select the relevant sheet so my sheets name is cognitive forms so i am going to select it here like this and here it will ask for the sheets name so right now i have only one sheet under this uh, spreadsheet named the sheet one so here I have, it is auto populated and here you can see started asking for the name email and the mobile number so these are the headers of the columns i have in the spreadsheet so to get this data here you need to map the values of these three uh, headers here in these fields so to map the data you just have to click and the previous step will appear in the drop down and when you click on it you will find all the data right here that you have received in the trigger like this okay so the same data you will find it here so by clicking on this data you can map the labels so here it is asking for the name so i'm going to map the first and last name together similarly you can map the email address here is the email label just click on it to map it and map the phone number label as well okay and when you map the labels like this guys in real time whenever you are going to receive a real form response that labels here will be updated and new data will be sent to your spreadsheet so you just have to map this map these labels and set up this automation only once after that it is going to work automatically just as a trigger happens that means whenever you are going to receive a form submission okay now you can test your connection with your google sheet by clicking on save and send test request button and a new row will be added here in this uh, spreadsheet let us just check i am clicking on save and send test request button here okay and this is the response we got let us check here here you can see guys a new row is added like this okay with the same data i have mapped so guys we are done setting up this workflow and you have to set up it only once and i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this same workflow in your own free pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel